Hey everyone, I'm Sean Keen, and today I have a quick command line tip for you. Now you might be saying, wait, what? The command line? I thought we were talking about Windows here. Well, actually the command line is a very powerful way to interact with your Windows computer and accomplish some quick tasks that would otherwise require a specialized app or hours of manual work. So today's just a small example that I run into quite often and requires no complex hacker skills to use. So here's the setup. Every once in a while, uh, typically once a week or so, I have a need to combine some records from some system into a single source file so that I can quickly generate a report or a pivot table, some kind of trending or analysis. And these are so varied and unpredictable that creating a database or import steps or even an Excel macro to parse the files wouldn't really be worth the effort. But tediously combining a month worth of data exports into a single table would take forever and likewise would not be worth the effort. So the command line comes to the rescue here. Uh, there is a command that you can run called copy and it's typically used to, you guessed it, make a copy of a file but you can actually trick it into combining many files into one single by specifying one destination but multiple sources and to do that we just use a wildcard so let's take a look first I'll open a command prompt and since I'm working with the data folder here I'll do that by holding shift as I right click the data folder and choose open command window here now the command prompt opens and you can see that it's pre-configured for that data folder. It's already where we need it to be, so you don't have to know anything about how to change to that folder or find your files. And now I just need to type one single command, and that is copy, asterisk, and then combined.csv, and that's just a name that I'm giving to my combined file. It could be anything you want. The asterisk, though, is a wild card, and that means that it's going to find every file in the folder and in this case I used asterisk.csv which means every file in the folder that ends with .csv so I'll hit enter here and you'll see that it says that all nine files were copied and when I open up my combined.csv file you'll see in Excel it's got the data from every single separate file now all in one spreadsheet perfect no copying and pasting no worrying about opening all these files one at a time all I need to do is use the auto filter to turn off the extra header rows that were imported. Not necessary if your data didn't have headers, but this way I can filter it out, make one single copy and paste job, and now I'm ready to pivot my data, analyze it, look at trends, whatever I need to do without any tedious work. So there you have it. That's how to combine data from many files into one single source and hopefully save you quite a bit of time in the process. I'm Sean Keen, and keep watching for more great tips, and check out my website at skeen.net.